why a man has to be blooded. Because you have to get out there and con encounter and confrontation in the environment. And let your opponent throw the salt on the wound that you're not aware of what everybody else is and it'll bring you down. Never be afraid to confront and encounter your worst opponent because let him or her throw wound, throw salt on the wound, expose the wound that I wasn't aware of that's bringing me down. You gotta know yourself. You can't escape that reality. You must know yourself. If you don't know yourself, if you don't know your vulnerabilities and your limitations in and out, how the hell are you going to defend yourself? How are you going to represent yourself? How are you going to control your identity? How the hell will you insulate and protect yourself from any fool out there trying to discourage you? Nobody should discourage you. Nobody, I said nobody, must ever be able to define you. Take away your optimism about yourself. Or mess with your image in any way. Nobody does that. But in order to do that, you need experience. And you need your worst opponent out there to throw salt on the wounds and expose the wounds so you can cover them. Put some bark on those wounds and get the hell back out there in the here and now and counter in confrontation with anybody, anytime, any place, anywhere. Always representing yourself. Always doing what you stand for, what you want to say. Having complete control over who in the hell you are. Nobody, I said nobody will ever get a chance at disrespecting me. Nobody. I don't care whether you're right or wrong, good or bad. Nobody gives me a damn sermon. Nobody disrespects me. First, you give me respect. Or I take that respect. You don't talk to me like a punk, giggling at me like a Tucker Carlson, or a real punk like Ben Shapiro, in my opinion. Nobody comes at me like that. You want to talk to me, you're going to come and talk to me like a man. And you're going to give me respect. You're going to recognize who in the hell I am. You're not going to mock, I will, I will not countenance mocking or ridiculing on your damn face. I'll wipe that right off your face. Grab it right off your face. If you talk to me, you better be serious. If you talk to me, you better be here to discuss evidence and facts, period. Yeah, put a period on that. You don't come to me trying to belittle me. Trying to humiliate, embarrass, or mock me like a bit O'Reilly? Stand up, O'Reilly! You both, you big, bloviated fool, stand on up! And how about that crazy Mark Levin? I call him crazy Mark Levin. You never let anybody start you off with a diatribe of ridicule and mockery and very aggressive assault of insulting language. That's your Mark Levin. Sarcasm. That's your little Michael Weiner, little Michael Weiner, savage man. A little man. Savage, tell another story, savage, you damn fool. Tell another story, savage. Doctor of what, savage? You're an epidemiologist, savage. And nobody stops these fools. Nobody confronts them. You see, you've got to confront a man by his name. You've got to name him. You've got to say what he said, just like you were in courtroom. On this and this day, a son of a bitch said this. At this and time, this is what he said to that. I say this. I'm here for remedy. You've got to be right to the point. Times, dates, specific things said. Push back. To this, my opponent said this. To what he just said at this time and this place, I say this. you got to make it reasonable and logical for someone to believe your side. And you never talk in terms of another man's social reality you've already lost. Do you think I would let Mark Levin set an agenda with me, call me a Marxist, he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about? I'd take it away from him. 
I say, hey, Levin, you, you, you are a fool with your bald-headed fat belly out there. And your wife is still ugly, Levin. You have to get under her skin. You must. Sometimes you cannot deal with a man any other way. You got to burrow right under his damn skin. Let him take a swing. It comes down to that. But I'll be damned if I let any man write my story for me. If I let any man ever write my epitaph. If I let any man insult, mock, and ridicule me to my presence and I don't deal with it, it'll never happen.